And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole. One of the reasons the Coyote basketball team ended the season on a nice run and got to the WDA for the first time in a number of seasons was the play of senior Austin Bomber. He did all the dirty work, playing tough D, grabbing big rebounds, and hitting the occasional clutch shot. And Alex Herman of the Tetons noticed this kid and signed him on to be a Teton next winter. Oh, yeah, I'm tremendously excited to get the opportunity to play for the Tetons. Uh, it, it's a surreal feeling, to be honest, and I wouldn't expect me being here, but I'm super happy. Was it always a goal to play college basketball? Uh, it was always an idea of mine. It, it might have seemed out of, out of picture sometimes, but it was definitely my goal. And my coaches gave me that opportunity and pushed me to where I need to be to get there. What did you like about the Tetons? Oh, I, I grew up going to their games when I moved here, just watching them, and it seemed I just loved the the aroma of, of, of it all. And what do you think you got to get better at as a basketball player? Oh, I gotta get I gotta get stronger for sure. I gotta get bigger on my rebounds, better with my left hand, uh, more consistent jump shots. I mean, I could work on everything really. You have to feel confident. I mean, you put together a very good senior season. You helped them make a nice run. Oh, yeah. You've got to be confident in your abilities. Oh, definitely. Yeah, for sure. What did you like about Bomber? Yeah, it was just one of those things where you could really see uh, the amount that he grew over the course of the year and with Coach Lundin and everything. Um, he's got a really, really high ceiling. He's got a lot of athleticism as far as athleticism and length. All of that stuff is going to kind of come right into, a, right into the conference, right into our program and what we're trying to kind of do. Um, so he just had a lot of those boxes that he checked um, that, that's, you know, what we're trying to find. He's also uh, coming out of a tough conference, so he knows what that's like every night. It's a grind. Yeah, the WDA was really, really good this year. It was a lot of fun watching um, and, and learning more and more about all the high schools and all the programs as I've gotten over here on the west side. Um, and, and he definitely knows what that competition is. You know, he's going to have to uh, – knows that he has to bring it every single day in practice and that, that you're really looking for those, those wins every single day as far as getting better and, and not taking that stuff for granted. All right, and a fan favorite, that is for sure. Williston Keybirds open up the new season, a sure sign of summer. That is going to be tomorrow, Tyler Jangula night. It's going to be steak night. Our buddy Ralph Lockwood up in heaven, he always loved that. So we're talking about it, Ralph. They'll take on Fargo post two. Always a good opener. Then the night cap to follow. Then on Thursday, we roll into the 38th annual True Wealth Financial Tournament, the longest running Legion tournament in the state of North Dakota. We're proud to say that. That's Thursday. Botno and the Birds at 11 a.m. Then the Oilers in Miles City, 1 p.m. Botno and Saskatoon. Good to have Canada. 3.30 p.m. Great Falls and the Billings Expos. The Birds in Regina, 7.30 p.m. Caden Fenders has become an All-State baseball player for the second year in a row. Always a young man you can count on to deliver with big base hits. The drive and run's been a varsity baseball player for three seasons. Two-time All-Stater now. Two-time All-WDA selection, including this spring. He will be missed by the Coyotes next year. In all three sports, he played baseball, basketball, in football after the bird season headed to Dickinson State to play football and baseball a Kyle career to be proud of absolutely no question about that see what's going on state a boys golf tournament West Fargo Cheyenne's on top 284 Red River 299 Century 315 representing the West Jamestown 315 North 318 Nate Pearl of uh, Cheyenne's got the lead with a 69. State B, Central Cass, 315. Oak Grove, seems like they're always there. 327, the Vikings are always there. 328, Shiloh Christian, 329. Dickinson Trinity, 333. And Aiden Hall of Northern Cass with a 71. Now the Twins went head-to-head -head with the best team in baseball this evening in Tampa Bay, the Rays. Let's see if they cooled them off. Louis Varlin on the hill, and away we go. There he is, Randy Rosarena. Loves to go crazy in the postseason. A base hit here, one zip Jays. Then, men at the corners, Christian Benincourt is going to drop one to center off Louis. It's going to get a run home, so two zip just like that. It's three zip Rays in the fifth. Luke Rayleigh with a two-run blast of Varlin. That makes it five-zip. They would go on to win big seven-zip. So the best team in the baseball takes care of the Minnesota Twins. Let's take a timeout on First News at 10.